This is my $5,000 gaming setup. And believe it or not, most of the items in this setup are actually super budget friendly. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you the top five budget upgrades for your gaming setup. All right guys, so the first thing I would recommend upgrading on your setup for a budget is your lighting. And my main source of lighting is actually these two big studio lights that I got off of Amazon. And the craziest part is these things are only like 60 bucks on Amazon, so they are a really good deal. As you can see, these things are super bright and they give a lot of light to my setup and they completely transform the quality of my videos. And our next lighting item that is super budget friendly is this Ikea lamp. I legit got this thing for like 20 bucks at Ikea and this was an absolute steal. And like I said earlier, all three of these lights combined completely transform the quality of my YouTube videos. All right guys, so as you can see, this is how my room looks without any of my lights on. As you can see, you can barely even see me. So now let's go ahead and turn all the studio lights on in three, two, one. And just like that, we have completely transformed our room. And the craziest part about all this equipment is, is that it was only $80. So if you guys want to try to be a content creator like me, make sure to pick up some of the equipment that I listed because this will help you with your videos a lot. But enough of the lighting, let's go ahead and move on to the next budget option, which is the audio. And if you're like me and you're always struggling to find a budget option for your audio setup, you're gonna want one of these. All right guys, so this is the PD200X microphone and the audio interface from a company called Mayono. So I unboxed these two products in one of my last videos and I decided that I would give you guys a quick review because I was really surprised by the quality on these things. And guys, the craziest part about this audio setup is that the mic is only about $100 and the audio interface is only about 60. And to put that in perspective, this is my mic and this is about $200. And this is my audio interface down here and this was about like 200. So basically at about like $200 cheaper, you're getting the same exact thing, just a little bit less in quality. But then again, both of these items right here are not very budget friendly and they're pretty professional as opposed to these, which have just a little less audio quality overall, and it's way, way cheaper. So for the mic itself, you can either connect it through an XLR cable into an audio interface, or you can use the USB option and plug it straight into your source. As you can see, there's also a ton of options on top of the mic, such as a mute button and a little dial to adjust your volume. And I also chose the white colorway to match the rest of my desk, but you can also get it in black. And as far as the audio interface goes, you have a lot of more options to play around with right here. Right here, you have your output volume dial. And then at the bottom, you have like a bunch of filters and a bunch of soundboard options down here. For example, you have like a noise reduction button right here. And then you also have some soundboard buttons right here. You can also adjust your mic gain, which adjusts like the mic quality of your mic. And then you have a couple more dials on the side to adjust like all the other stuff plugged into the audio interface. And I legit just use this mic setup for my MacBook that I usually have right there. So if you have a laptop and you want an audio setup, I would highly suggest getting this audio setup as well. But yeah, overall, I was super impressed by the quality of these products. So if you guys haven't already, make sure to pick them up. I'm going to have the link to these products down in the description below if you want to pick one up for yourself. But again, that was just one of the other options for your budget setup. So let's go ahead and move on to the next budget part of your setup, which is going to be RGB. All right, next up, guys, we have RGB. In my opinion, RGB might be one of the most important things that you put in your setup. As you can see, I have quite a few RGB items in my gaming setup around my room, but the main RGB lights that I wanna highlight are lights by Govi. I'm not sponsored by Govi or anything, but once I got my first Govi RGB lights, I've never gone back. As you can see, we have these two light bars by Govi mounted on the back of my monitor. These lights create a really nice back glow onto my wall. And the craziest thing was I only got these things for like $40, so this was definitely worth it. And the next budget RGB item that I want to highlight are my LED strips. So I recently put these up in one of my transformation videos, and honestly, this might be one of the best things I've added. I actually had the same exact strips in my other room too, because they are just so good. They have a bunch of styles to choose from as far as colors go, and honestly, it's just super convenient. And as you can see, I have these same exact RGB strips on the back of my TV right here. As you can see, I just mounted these on the back of the TV right here. And just like my monitors, this creates a really nice glow. One thing that I also really like about Gobi's RGB lights is the fact that they are so, so bright. So I've actually ordered a bunch of RGB stuff off of Amazon before, and I've never really been impressed with the quality. All the stuff is super cheap and the lights aren't that bright and they usually die really quickly, except for Gobi, which are super high quality and I would definitely recommend. I also got a note that I had these puck lights on this shelf right here. These are 
actually RGB too because you can actually change the color on them if you want. But yeah, these are super cool and I got like six of them for about like $20 on Amazon. And by the way, if you're interested in anything that I mentioned in this video, I'm gonna link it down in the description below. But yeah, this is again another budget option for lighting. This RGB strip was only about 30 bucks. This one was only about 15. These puck lights were only about 20. And these light bars back here were only about 40. But most of the budget stuff in this video can't really compare to arguably the most important thing in your setup, which is the desk. This one right here is an Ikea desk. I'm not really sure what the name of it is, but I'll make sure to link it down in the description. This right here was only about $100, and honestly, this might be one of the best upgrades that I've ever made. Basically, I just had literally no room in my old setup, so I decided to get a brand new desk. And this enabled me to put a lot more stuff in my setup, and I think it looks absolutely amazing now. This thing was super easy to set up. The only thing I had to do was just install the legs on the bottom right there. This thing is also super light, so I would definitely recommend this thing. This other desk is from a brand called Sakaic that actually sent me this desk out for free. Now this desk is a little bit more on the pricey side. I believe this thing was about $250. But again, I didn't have to pay for any of it, so thank you so much Sakaic for sending this out to me. But yeah, if you guys are interested, I'm gonna link this desk in the description down below. I know it's not really budget, but if you guys are interested, I'll still leave it in the description below. As you can see, it's got like three shelves up here and then a pegboard underneath. And then it's got like a pouch over here, which I keep all of my cables in to keep it kind of organized. It's also got like a shelf over here and it's got a pull out keyboard tray right there. This thing was a little harder to set up. This probably took me about two hours to build in total. But overall, I really like how this turned out and I think this fills the space perfectly. And then also I know this really isn't a desk, but I have this Ikea shelf up here too. This thing was only like 40 bucks. And as you can see, this thing is absolutely humongous. So if you guys are looking for some budget furniture or shelves or anything, I would highly recommend going to Ikea. In total, both of these were only like $160 and these are probably the best part of my setup. And yeah, this thing was super easy to install, so I would definitely recommend it. And this leads us on to our last budget option for your setup, which is the decorations. Now, as far as this setup, I don't actually have a lot of decorations except for what I have up on the shelf. Up here, I have a bunch of tech boxes from all of the products that I've gotten from over the years. As you can see, I have the box of my old keyboard, my new keyboard, my mic, iPhone, and my Wave XLR right there. I think these add a lot of personality to my setup seeing as I am kind of a tech content creator. But yeah, as far as this setup, there's not a lot of decorations going on. I do have these vines right here that I got off of Amazon. These things were only like 20 bucks and they're super minimal and clean. Now, as far as this setup, I have to say I have a lot more personality and decorations over here. As you can see, we have another section of tech boxes up there. That's all of my camera equipment right there, my headset box, and that is my audio setup that I just talked about. In these little shelves right here, I have some Funko Pops from different shows. And as you can see, we also added some vines onto this setup as well on the corners of the desk. And we also got one of my favorite parts of the setup, which is this little Spider-Man phone holder right here. I don't know, I think this just goes with the setup and I think it looks pretty cool. But yeah, that is about it for the decorations of my gaming room. Again, I'm gonna try to add more decorations to this setup in the future, but for right now, I think it looks pretty good. And with that said, guys, that is gonna bring us to the end of today's video. Again, if you guys are interested in anything that I listed in today's video, I'm gonna have everything in the description below. And if you guys did enjoy today's video, make sure to like and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. And I will see you guys next week in the next video. Peace. Hollow